ಪ್ರಾಯೋಗಿಕೂ Okay. <laughs> uh you have well you have to advise people in such a way that they want to give these things up, right? So you have to they have to understand the dangers in these things. And when they understand the dangers, that's when they will give these things up. You can't sort of harangue people or you know persuade them by force to give these things up. It has to be a natural abandonment on the part of the person who does these things. So the obvious the one of the obvious reasons why using uh, intoxicants is dangerous is that it leads to a lack of mindfulness right you start doing bad things or stupid things or silly things uh, when you're intoxicated uh, and sometimes if somebody really wants to be a moral and virtuous person i think they will understand that uh, that is obviously the first thing here the second thing is the danger of getting addicted to these things and i have noticed in my life that is not just kind of the the physical addiction that you have to have alcohol because you're physically addicted very often the problem is the psychological addiction i have seen people who are dependent on alcohol to relax right just to feel at ease to feel good about themselves they have very stressful lives and then they drink to de-stress in the evening here And that's a terrible thing you become psychologically addicted to these things and you can't give them up because you can't relax without them so when you point that out to people they say wow that's a good point i you know where 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 is that head where where does that go if you cannot relax without it it eventually it will lead to very very serious problems alcoholism and what have you that's the second point the third point is that we i you are creating habits and these habits that we are creating in this life uh, let's say you drink just a little bit in this life uh, and one of the dangers with alcohol consumption always tends to increase uh, there is kind of no upper limit it tends to go up and up uh, there's actually sutta about that uh, sutta is about everything yeah. uh sutta about that it says that is one of the things that you always tend to do more and more uh, is drink more and more uh, and if you then bring that habit with you into the next life uh, it will continue where you left off in this life is still doing more and more uh, and of course this is a very dangerous trend uh, and this again if you have some faith in the buddhist teachings uh, you will understand that and you uh, that will actually help you uh, to let go of such a bad a bad habit uh, but really you have to get the person themselves to understand these things so you have to do it in a nice and gentle way it is very difficult uh, I know from my own family I uh, is you know the basically uh, many of my family members are very keen on the Buddhist path I think it is a good idea and they want to practice Buddhist morality but getting them to stop drinking is very very hard and it's kind of <laughs> the one thing uh, which doesn't seem to kind of gel with them so it's a difficult one here uh, so uh, all you can do is try your best in a very gentle and kind way here um but then the ಸಿಹಿಯೀಮಟ ಉಪಕಾರ 
අපේ සිහිය අඩු වුණාට පස්සේ අපි නරක දේවල් මෝඩ දේවල් කරන්න පටන් ගන්නවා. ඉතින් එහෙම උපදෙස් දෙනකොට ඒ අය සදාචාරශීලී නම් එම උපදෙස් තේරුම් ගනීවි. දෙවෙනි කාරණාව තමයි අපි මේ පුරුදු හදා ගන්නවා ඇබ්බැහි වෙනවා. ඇබ්බැහි වුණාම කායිකව පමනක් නෙමෙයි මේක මානසික ඇබ්බැහි වීමක්. මානසිකවත් අපි ඇබ්බැහි වෙනවා. අපි හිතනවා සැහැල්ලු වෙන්න පුළුවන් ය මත්පැන් තුලින් කියලා. එහෙම හිතන එක නරකයි එහෙම හිතන එක එච්චර හොඳ දෙයක් නෙමෙයි අපි හිතන්නේ අතහැරියේ නැත්නම් සැහැල්ලු වෙන්න විදියක් නැහැ කියලා ඒක එහෙම අතහැරියාම සැහැල්ලු වෙනව කුහම සමහර අය පුදුමයටත් පත් වෙනවා අන්තිමේදී මත්පැන් ගැඹුරුම ප්‍රශ්නත් ඔබට ශාරීරික ප්‍රශ්නත් ගෙන දෙන නිසා ඒවයින් බැහැර වෙන එකයි කළ යුත්තේ ඒ වගේම අපි තවත් දෙයක් තමයි මේ පුරුදු හදා ගන්නවා අපි සීමාවක් නැතිව මේක පුරුද්දක් කර ගන්නවා අපිට වෙන්නේ ඒ පුරුදු හැටියට ඒ ජීවිතේ පුරුදු කරගත්තාම එය නැවත නැවත අරගෙන යනවා තව තවත් අපිට බොන්න හිතෙනවා ඉතින් බීම කියන එක තමයි භයානකම දේ ඒ වගේම උන්වහන්සේගේ පෞලේ අය ගත්තාම පෞලේ අය බෞද්ධ පුරුදු පුහුණු වීම් කරත් ඒ අයගේ නවත්තන අමාරුම දේ තමයි බොන එක නවත්තන එක නමුත් ඉවසීමෙන් ඒ අය බොනේකින් වලක්වා ගන්නට උත්සාහ කරන එකයි කරන්න තියෙන එකම දේ එබඳු පිළිතුරක් තමයි ලබා දුන්නේ ගරු සාවින් වහන්ස මරණානුසති භාවනාව බොහෝ වැදගත් වූයේය එය නියමයි සුපර්බ් අපහන්සේට නිදුක් නිරෝගී සුව වේවා වෙන්ඩ වර්ස ද ඩෙත් කන්ටෙම්ප්ලේෂන් වොස් සුපර්බ් මේ යු බී වෙල් ඇන් හැපි ගුඩ් ोगसुवेटिशक्तिबंद I got an experience in meditation um, through looking at the nature with the eye of loving kindness and I was able to let go of some weaknesses of my body and this was one of my experiences in this meditation retreat can we receive the energy from the universe and heal ourselves what is your experience about that kindly explain <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not it's not a very uh, Buddhist idea to to talk about the energy from the universe. Uh, the energy comes from yourself, uh, right? That's where the energy comes from. This is why we develop the samadhi, you develop the loving kindness, uh, and it comes from your own ability, the own purity of your own mind. Uh, and yes, it has a very powerful healing effect. Uh, but t- all you have to do is tune into yourself rather than tune into the universe uh, and that is where the healing power comes from uh, it's right there inside of you uh, this is what is so good about it you don't have to kind of wait for some god outside or some universe outside uh, all you have to do is to look inside in the right way and you can tap into that very powerful uh, healing energy which is inside of you uh, some things can be healed that way some things cannot uh, but uh, certainly it is much better to have that have those brahma viharas and samadhi developed than not having it at all ha me bauddha dahasak nemi obba tuluma tiyena shakti upadawa ganna obba tuluma tiyena shaktiyen manasa pirisi dunata passe obata puluwan suwapad bhaweta patenna durwalatawayan magaharwa ganna oba obatuma samvedi wenna vishweta samvedi wima eta wada api pitata tiyena විශ්ව ශක්තියක් හෝ දෙවියක් හෝ තමම සුවපත් කරනවා කියලා හිතනට වඩා තමන්ගේම ශක්තිය අවබෝධ කර ගැනීමයි කළ යුත්තේ එහෙම වුණාම අපිට පුළුවන් සමහර ප්‍රශ්න විසඳ ගන්න සමහර ප්‍රශ්න විසඳෙන්නේ නැහැ නමුත් අපේම ශක්තියයි අපි භාවිත කරන්නේ
භාවනාවට ශීලයේ අත්‍යවශ්‍ය විනේහි කියා තිබෙන පරිදි උපසම්පදා භික්ෂුවකට අනුපසම්පන්නයෙකු සමග දින තුනකට වඩා අරුණනන් වීම නිසා වන ආපත්තිය මේ දින 10 තුළ එකම කොටේජ් එකේ සිටීමෙන් සිදු වන්නේද ශීල ඉස් ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් ෆෝ මෙඩිටේෂන් ඇකෝඩින් ටු ද විනය ඉෆ් ඇන් ඉෆ් a monk who has received the higher ordination um, lives in the same cottage uh, with a monk who has a vis- with a novice monk um, what sort of offense does that monk receive what what is the offense for that monk uh, after he lives for for more than 3 nights 3 days before the dawn mm. in during these days um there are monks who live like that what is your opinion on that <laughs> um it's a fairly minor thing it's a pachitya rule uh, in the pachityas and the idea is if you live under the same uh, roof or the same ceiling depending on how you look at it for more than 3 nights with a another person it is a pachitya offense for a monastic uh, But there's different ways of looking at that one of them is to look at it under the same ceiling remember the origin story to this rule is that the, the monks were sleeping and they were kind of sleeping in unseemly ways and then the it wasn't so nice for the you know for other people to be around so it wasn't it didn't look very good or something like that uh, and lay people were complaining as as usually happened with his rules uh, so it is really seems to be in the same sleeping place sahasaya kapaya means the same sleeping place so under the same ceiling right in the same room so uh, cottage depending on how you define these things so i don't think it's a i don't think it's a very serious problem of uh, you know of conduct uh, and uh, if one occasionally breaks some of these minor rules uh, with the intention of doing one's best i don't think it's such a big deal uh, but ideally it is something what that one should avoid uh. මේක පාචිත්‍ය යටතේ සඳහන් වෙන්න විනේහි මේක ඊටම කුඩා භික්ෂුවකට වෙන්නට පුළුවන් අපතක් ඔබ දකින විදියට ඒ තියෙන්නේ වෙන්නේ එකම වහලක් යට එහෙම නැත්නම් එකම සිවිලිමක් යට සිටිනවා කියන අදහසයි මෙතනින් ගන්න ඕනේ එහි මූල් කතාව තවදහන් යොමු කළ බැලුවම මේ විනේ නීතිය එන්නට සිදු වුණු හේතුව හොයලා බැලුවම එකම වහලක් යට එකම සිවිලිමක් යට භික්ෂුන් වහන්සේලා සැතපිලා තියෙනවා ඒ සැතපුණු දර්ශනය අන්‍යයන්ට ප්‍රියකරු නොවන දර්ශනයක් ඒ නිසා තමයි එබඳු නීතියක් ගෙන ආවේ සහස්‍යයන් කප්පේය කියන විදියට ඒ නීතිය සඳහන් වෙන විදියට එකම සිවිලිමක් යට හෝ ඔබ දකින විදියට එකම කුටියක් තුල සිටීමෙන් එබඳු අවතක් වෙන්නට පුළුවන් නමුත් එය විටින් විට ඔබ තුලින් ඇවත උනෝතින් ඔබට පුළුවන් පිරිසිදු වෙන්න ඔබට හැකි තරම් එයින් වැලකින එකත් වටිනවා අවසරයි පූජනීය අජන් බ්‍රහ්මාලි සාමින් වහන්සේගේ ධර්ම දේශන හා උන්වහන්සේගේ ධර්ම සාකච්ඡා අන්තර්ජාලයේ හරහා දැන ගැනීමට අන්තර්ජාල ලිපිනයක් හෝ වෙබ් අඩවියක් නම් කළොත් සතුටින් එම දහම් කරුණු ඉගෙන ගන්න කැමැත්තෙමු could you give us a website to listen to your dharma talks and i'd like to learn from you <laughs> Um yes there is such a website the, the, the website is called uh, dhammaloka.org dhammaloka.org the light of the dhamma dhammaloka.org and that's where you find all the websites of Ajahn Brahmavangsa my teacher you find talks that I have given as well uh, if, if you are a monastic you can you can also write an email to me and I can there may be other things as well other resources as well that you might be able to uh, get hold of so just um, uh, think about uh, you know whatever the situation is uh, we can maybe uh, sort something out uh. oh we better we at you know dhammaloka.org kela d h a m m a l o k a dot o r g me we better we at pvsila ajan brahman so hamduran vahan se get ape ajan brahmali hamduran vahan se atulu vikshun vahan se lage deshana ahanta puluwang ඔබ භික්ෂුන් වහන්සේ නමක් නම් ඔබට පුළුවන් මා වෙත ඊමේල් පණිවිඩයක් එවන්න එතකොට තවත් මූලාශ්‍ර සහිතව මට පිළිතුරක් දෙන්නට පුළුවන් වේවි ගරු සාමින් වහන්සේ බ්‍රහ්ම ලෝකයේ ඉපදුන බ්‍රහ්මයන් ආයුෂ කෙළවර වීමෙන් පසු නැවත කාම ලෝකවල හෝ සතර අපායවල උප්පත්ති ලැබනවාද ඩියර් වෙන්ඩර්ස් ආෆ්ටර් ද 
Brahmas uh, um, passed away from the Brahma world. I don't know how to put it. Um, after Brahmas mm. disappear from wherever they are, mm. from the Brahma world, can they uh, descend into um, hells, purgatory realms, or in the karma world? Karma worlds. Uh, yes, they can certainly be reborn in the karma worlds, and that's for that's for sure. Because uh, uh, as a Brahma Loka is just above the karma world, uh, it is natural that you get reborn in the uh, you know human realm or something like that after you pass away from the Brahma Loka. However, I think it is very unlikely that you will go straight from Brahma Loka down to one of the lower realms, uh, because your mind is still very pure, right? Uh, it takes very coarse defilements to get reborn in the very low realm. Uh, so you can be reborn, but it will take a few intermediate steps, right? Uh, you go down, 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 down. Uh, like if you read the Aganya Sutta, the Aganya Sutta in the Iganikaya 27, I think it is, uh, roughly 27, it talks about the uh, kind of the world, how it gets coarser and coarser and coarser. And that is, uh, I think, in some ways, that's a, a simile, an extended simile for ha what, hap what tends to happen to the human mind. It tends to get coarser and coarser and coarser and coarser, unless you do something to actually uh, reverse, deliberately reverse the, the tendency. Yeah. That's what tends to happen, I think. Yeah. But it's, it's a gradual thing. It's not straight from Brahma Loka to the lower realms. It will be gradually going down there. Oh, Oba Brahma Loka in Pirihila, Kama Loka in Pula Mugade, Kama Loka to Dintame Brahma Loka in the Namut Ekaparatam Brahma Loka in the La Durvela Apaigami Tanakata Patina Provenatayak Siduenda Vidyakne, Mukad Brahma Loka, Manasitam Pirisidunisa, Oba Tula Tibunuting. Drudavu Klesian, Tada Klesian, Etakuta, a Klesian Ulheti Ritamai, Pilivelin, Oba, Apaigami, Bahaveta Patini, Agani Sutre, Sandahanino, Diganika, Visihatani Sutre, Vinapulwan, a Sutre, Tuleta, a Sutre Tanu, Loke, a Kelesvelin, Baravina Hatiata, Manushante, Kumak de Vinni Kela Sandahanino, a Sutre, Upamas, Pawa Pahedilica Latino, Eono Belhama, Pilivelin Tamai, Minisungi Pirihima Sid Devila, Manasi Pirihima Sid Devila, Naraka Bhumivala Utpatia Labani Garu Samino Hansa Mikala Loke, Mehini Sasuna, Dictioni Sangia, Tama Tibede, Mea Apeta Loku Prashneke, Atamun Atakiat, Atamun Natakiat Kieti. Apea Atea Sita, Upasapani, Vine Karma Kirima, Pape Kat Hasuede, Karnavin Me Pahada Dine. Dear Venerable Sir, do we have a bhikkhuni ordination by now? Uh, this is a big problem for us. Some say some says yes, some says no. Uh, we do think that uh, there is a bhikkhuni ordination and that we also engage in uh, formal vine activities. Uh, and by that, do we accumulate any bad karma? <laughs> Kindly explain. <laughs> Uh, I, I think there is a bhikkhuni ordination. I think there is, and I think that we have bhikkhuni sangha now, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, it is really about, uh, there are so many, you can argue from both ways, you can argue one way, you can argue the other way, uh, but there are very many good arguments for why ordination of bhikkhunis is possible in our day and age, even though it died out in the past. And one of the people I would recommend you to read who has written most on this and made the most detailed arguments is a Bhikkhu Venerable Analoyo. He has written long and extended things. They also translated many of his things into Sinhala, into Thai, into Burmese. So they're all translated into all the kind of core Theravadan countries, the languages of the core Theravadan countries. And he writes very detailed things about these things and are very persuasive. So I think from what he's saying, I, I cannot see any reason why we should doubt that this, this is possible. And sometimes we also need a little bit of goodwill, right? We need to, uh, for, for me, it is so important in the modern world that we have this kind of gender equality. If we haven't got that, people will think that we are backward as Buddhists. I live in the West, I live in Australia, and there it is very, it is actually very significant, very important to have this kind of uh, equality between the genders. 
So I sometimes need a little bit of goodwill to try to see the positive argument, right? Uh, if you are kind of locked into the negative argument, you won't be able to see that there is another way of looking at these things. Uh, and that, I think, is the important thing. But look up some of Venerable Analio's writings. That most of it is available on the internet. Uh, and then you can read the arguments for yourself. And I personally am convinced that we have a Bitcoin ordination. I don't think it's bad karma. I think it's good karma. You are helping people to ordain, right? To practice in the right way. If you, you have to look at where you're coming from. Are you coming from compassion and kindness, trying to be wise about these things? It cannot be bad karma. But if you are rejecting it because you, you know, whatever your motivation is, look at the motivation. The motivation will tell you whether it's good or bad karma. Mama Hitani Dieta Bikshuni Sasanya Tenoa Bikshuni Sangha Bikuni Sangha Kela Adita Pavatino. Obeto one with the ekata Vade Vada Karan Pulu and Tieno Kela Na Kela Noikut uh Aka ring hoela Belluhama Bikshuni Sasanya Tibi Mehi Varadak Dakinta Behe. Uh Yam Kalekidi e Nativila Gyat uh e Pavatino Kiana Sadakat Apitatino. Megan had dinner Karan Puluang, Bikuanale, Okin, a German ham Duran Hanse, Visin, Lepu Lippi, Astray Teragatama, Vineta, no, no Hanse, again, a dear Goshin, Lelatino, Eva Pariortene Vilatino, Ethereum Mamatama, Eva Pariortene Curry, Matavani Nipa, Eva Kila. I told him that I translated for Bikuanale, especially on Bikunis. Eva Vistara to Sahito Nuhansi Lilatino, Eanu, Sakiak, Etikaragan Behe, A. Bixuni Sassane, Dem Pavatin Nikela, Bixuni Sassane, Pavatino, Kela, Petita and Vinne, Uber Obe Hado to Tulum Etikaragan, Tikak, Honda Chetanava, Honda City Villa Tikaragan, Api Batahira to Lijivat in Australia, Batahira to Ehidi me Purusha Kanta in a baby at Ethical thing, Eka Prashnak, Enisa, gender equality, Kenica, Kanta Saha Pirimi Samatate, Salakaneke, Hitina, Lakshanak, Enisa, Apita, Epilibanda, Visheshim, Katu to Karana Sidina, Obatula, Honda City Villa, Ethicaragan, Oba Rinat Maka City Villa, Tasu, no thing, Obata Naraka Sidina. Uh, but uh, Hari de Dakin to Berry Noba Balan Hitler Obagi Hadotim uh, Munogi Adahasak Anudo Beherkara Nikila, Ea Vedagat, Oba Karuna Vinang Ediha Balani, Etanatini Hapatak, uh, Ea Nua Kalpanakran. Gauruni Samino has a sota upon a palega to Patu, Pavidikeniku, Yamkalaka, Suru, Hera, Givi, Mak, Vimata, Hate to Tibet, the Saha, Garu, Evati, Mata, Parajika, Sanga, the Sesa, Vimata, Hate to Tibet. Venerable Sir, once a monk has attained the extreme winner state, can he deteriorate to the lay life? And can he also commit, can, can he still commit to? Uh, parajika and Sangha, this is etc. offenses. Uh, can he revert to Lailab? I think it is uh, very unlikely. You know what the Dhamma is, you know what the path is. Uh, maybe under very exceptional circumstances he could, uh, uh, but it would be very exceptional circumstances. I don't know what they would be. Uh, maybe he can't find a the right place to stay as a monk, or maybe uh, maybe there's something very special going on. But generally speaking, I would say no, because you understand the Dhamma, you understand what the path is, uh, and you understand that the bhikkhu path, or the bhikkhuni path, uh, is the best way to go all the way to awakening. Uh, can they commit Sangha de Sesa and Parajik offenses? I think that's absolutely impossible. Uh, I think this is one of the things that it says in the sutta is that uh, uh, an Arya can commit minor offenses. Uh, that is possible. Uh, and maybe even including Arahants can actually sometimes incur minor offenses. Uh, and that is because often these are offenses of, uh, uh, not of actually moral fault, but offenses of convention, conventional offenses. Uh, and this can be committed by anybody. Uh, so this is possible, but certainly for the, uh, certainly Parajik and Sangha de is, is not possible, as far as I understand the suttas, uh, uh, for any Aryan, Aryan person. Uh, one of the things that is said about the stream mentor is that they are perfect in sila, which doesn't mean that they always do the right thing, uh, but it means 
one of the main things is that they straight away will confess what they're doing here. Bikshun Mahan Sinamak Sovan Tate Patuna, never the Giba Vita Pateneka, Itam Kalaturkin Sidden Puluan, Ekavin Beva Gekel and Mahansis and the Hankarani. Some had to be shesham he to act the bunut him when a pull one killer, Pilitur deno, some had to he to a unhansi to Puhun in Hundatanak, Vasaker and Hundatanak, Netang, Netang, Wagi he to a pin a pull one. Muka the Dharme Terin Nisa, Dharme Vetahila Terin Nisa, Bixuak, Bixunia Quidiate City, Mutulin, me Dharma Marge, Vadan Puluanki, Nabo de Nisama, never to give you take a heron, Provenataviak, Etienne Vidyak Nehe. Eva game Aryan Arjita Patuna to Passe Kuda where the air against it the Vin Pulu and Namut Pradhan Parajika Vage Deval Ea against it the Vin Vidyak Neh. Mukad Eage Samaj Eage Sam Samane Sada Charyaktino Anna Visin Pudvikar and Verdi A against it the Vin Pulu and Namut Pradhan Verdi Sidwin Vidyak Neh Apati Sidwin Vidya Neh. Visheshima Sile Eage Tam Hundai Hundin AI Sile Potuagano, Pisim Adu Aquarda Kunutin, AI A Nevata Anavar Nakerla, Pirish Dubahavita Patino. Okay. There was a Negar Samin Hansen member of the Sitahan Samidhanik and Labu, Metavi Hari Samin Hansiatul, Silupin, not Pirisir, and Nevata, Maven Vedisatana, Pinka Maxi Dukirim, and Niduk Nurugi, Suela Beva. Ajan Brahmali Savin Nohan Seta, Nidukno Giswela Beva, I say, Ma Bahat, should I continue? I say, Ma Bahat, Apart, Manu Parvatanek and Labu, Arnavihari, Aruna Siriki Latin, Arnavihari Himian, Mamma Himian, Kusalian Himian, the Nemata Niro Giswela Beva, which a name of Edisatahana Tepamini Bixu, Vixini Pasu Pasica, Sivuna Pisetam Niro Gisu, Salasia, Nevata, Nemini Vedisatana, Kirima to Metsit the Pahan Viva, Apahamadina, Nivedi, Hapat Mavata Salaseva, Samantha Majai Srima, Bodhi Rekor, Nedalada, Himingis Rekor, Nesalaseva. So this is actually thanking to all the supporters, including Venerable Metavihari and Venerable Ajahn Brahmali for giving Dhamma, and also to Venerable. Um, Arun Vihari for translating and also to myself and also to all the bhikkhus, bhikkhuni, supasikas, supasikas uh, for being here and also wishing them uh, the true way and also the blessings from the great uh, Bodhi tree and the left two trilik of the Buddha. Okay, excellent, very kind of you. <laughs> प्रभासुर सबावे टे हितने गी मत विचारे अनु ऐहि मसित करती मत त्यान्न पहली कर दिन वेनुबस वितक इस the mind's attention to the samadhi निमित्त or to the प्रभासुर प्रभासुर nature the luminous nature uh, vichara means uh, keep maintaining the mind, sustaining the mind, or applying the mind on that. Mm. Um, so that's his idea or her idea. Mm. And please explain. Uh, yes, that's that's often how it is explained. The two distinction between vitaka vichara. One is like the holding on, and one is the uh, one is the attention, and one is the grasping or holding or something like that. I think that comes from the commentary somewhere uh, in the sutta. It's not explained in detail, uh, but I think that kind of relates to how the mind operates in the first jhana. In the first jhana, there is a uh, slight grasping, and then the slight, and, and then the attention relaxes, and then the re grasping, etc. And that is kind of the movement of vitaka vichara. So I think the only way to really understand what these things mean uh, is actually to attain one of the, the first jhana state uh, and then see from there what uh, uh, how, how this actually works. Oh, atu awa tanu gatu ting vitakka vichara ki ni keng adhas rene oba e aramuni te nangvi matha e aramuni rendi city mat ki ni ka palave ni dehane e vidya thai pahedili rene oba te me gan sutra vali nut abo de akla bagan puluang Eva game of Mebandu at the game at the Palamini Dianeva game at the game at the Pivisilama, Megan at Tindinuanan, Ei Vadat Mochita.
වෙන සාමි හිමියනි යුරෝපීය ජාතිකයෙකු ලෙස ඔබ වහන්සේ ධර්මයට යොමු වයිරුත් සංඝය වහන්සේ නමක් වූ වයිරුත් දැන ගැනීමට කැමැති දෙක අජන් බහමන්සෝ මහතෙරුන් සමග ගත කරන පැවිදි ජීවිතය අධ්‍යක්ෂීම් දැන ගැනීමට කැමැති ධර්ම කරුණු නොවුණත් ඔබ වහන්සේගේ පුජ්‍යලික ජීවිතයෙන් බිඳක් අපට ධර්ම මාර්ගයේ රැඳින් උපකාර වේවි ඔබ වහන්සේගේ ධර්ම කරුණු ඉගැන්වීම රටා විහිලින් අගය කරන අතර ඔබ වහන්සේට නිර්වාණය අවබෝධ වේවායි ප්‍රාර්ථනා කරමු බුදු සරණයි Uh, when a person, uh, as, a, as an European, as a European person, how did you become a monk? How did you uh, come to Dhamma? And what are the interesting stories of your life with Venerable Ajahn Brahm? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. And uh, even <laughs> though these, these are not um, uh, direct <laughs> Dhamma facts, but I'd like to uh, know your personal life a little bit and also <laughs> i really like the way you teach okay. and may you attain uh, nibbana okay my personal <laughs> my personal life is very boring very boring <laughs> sitting in my kuti meditating oh <laughs> you can't say very much about that you know <laughs> so um well it's, it's actually quite interesting though how how do you become a buddhist when you come from a european background is actually very interesting for me too to reflect on that Uh, because uh, what happened to me was I, when I when I was at university I was studying engineering here and uh, I was taught there was an exchange program I could go to Japan and uh, I was friends with the people in this program they said we have an opening somebody needs to accept it quickly you ha- you have shown interest in the past would you like to go so I said yes I want to go to, I'd be very happy to go to Japan uh, and I had this feeling I wanted to go to Asia right I don't know why where it comes from uh, I didn't have any Asian friends I didn't have any inkling things about buddhism anything like that uh, it's very strange and you go to asia when i came to japan i read my first book on buddhism i wandered around all the buddhist temples looking at all the buddha statues you know and there's something feels very familiar about this uh, and then when i came back again to my to norway to where i was doing my studies uh, one of my friends said here is a book about meditation practice you know read it <laughs> So I did I read it it was it was called the calm technique and it was about uh, breath meditation and I started to do breath meditation I got some nice results and that was really all it takes once you have that those two things kind of coming together a familiarity with the idea of buddhism and meditation working then that was really all it took and then later on in my life many years later I decided to uh, go to a, a buddhist monastery to to sort of check it out and that was really that was really it after that But where does that come from? Where where do these kind of impulses come from, right? To travel to Asia, to read about Buddhism, to meditate. Where does all this come from? And I I have no doubt it must come from a past life. There must be something there. I you know, I, I don't know where where I was in the past life, but I probably was living in some Asian country, right? Maybe I was here in Sri Lanka. Maybe I was, you know, and that's the only explanation I can have for these things. And I think yeah, I don't know about other western monks, but I I think many other western monks have similar feelings, you know, these things must come from some deep rooted seed inside uh, uh, from the past. Uh, that's where I think it comes from. Interesting stories with Ajahn Brahm. <laughs> Ajahn Brahm. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I think uh, Ajahn Brahm is quite a, you know, he is one of those very quite unique personalities. You have to be around him and kind of to, to be with him to see what he's like. He's quite, uh, he's very special. Uh, and uh, <laughs> he, he's the sort of person well, one of the one of the nicest things was when he was on retreat right Ajahn Brahm goes on retreat for six months uh, and he was away he didn't see anybody didn't speak to a single person for six months uh, and he said that on one occasion during those six months he had seen a monk uh, and this was one of the monks that ordained with him and he had forgotten his name so <laughs> <laughs> it was like he was in a different world uh, and when he was on the six month retreat all he had was a kuti uh, seven square meters he had one book Maj- Majjhimanikaya and the walking path that's all he did for six months without a break and then he comes off after six months uh, and he gives his first talk were you, you there venerable anasano yeah you were there okay he gives his first talk after six months his eyes are kind of shining right <laughs> he looks very very happy uh, and his first name of his first talks is six months of bliss that's his name <laughs> of his first talk right is it um, one of those things is one of those things give you a lot of confidence in buddhist teachings because it shows you 
to be able to stay by yourself for six months without seeing anybody and all your experience is bliss for those six months, it means that there's something very, very profound going on on the Buddhist path, something very, very deep. You don't go crazy. In fact, you go, you go more sane than you've ever been in your whole life by doing these kind of things. That is very special and that is something you, see, you, don't, you don't see very often in this world. And... Um, but to be around Ajahn Brahm, in many ways, it's just like being around somebody, a very ordinary person, right? He just goes around, he's very, you know, he, he doesn't make much of himself. He lives in a very simple hut. He has a little cave where he sleeps, right? You know, a few square meters, that's all he has. He has a little thin mattress on the floor, that's where he sleeps. He's, very, he's one of the most famous monks in the world, but he is still very humble and very down-to-earth, you know? And that is quite, uh, quite astonishing when you see that. Uh, he's a very, to me, a very inspiring example of what a, you know, a good monk can, can be like when you practice in the right way. Uh, and uh, that is the most uh, uh, impressive thing about him, just his simplicity uh, and the, the way he lives his life and how hard he works, incredibly hard, always working, always doing things for people, getting joy out of his hard work, always saying yes to any invitation, even small things, small groups, individuals, right? Uh, he's not one of these gurus you can't approach. You can actually approach Ajahn Brahm, even though he is so incredibly famous. Uh, so there are there's some very, very strong and powerful qualities uh, uh, in, in Ajahn Brahm. And he also has the Samadhi mind, the mind which can be very strong, right? And if Ajahn Brahm is unbudgeable, he really is unbudgeable. You can't move him. Uh, he's like a rock, you know? But Ajahn, please, can we do this way? No, we cannot do it this way. And you just have to say, okay, fine. <laughs> you can't argue with him. If he has decided, then there's no argument anymore here. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Anyway, that's enough, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be here all night. Uh, okay. Ajahn Brahma Ali Hamdurangi Jeevite Harim Boring Jeevite Akkelun Hansi Pili Thirudun Nae Khyanne Echir Dhanagandhan Tarang Sittat Sittalwan Sulu Dewaal Nethi Jeevite Mughad Kovile Karani Bhavana Karani Kavali Dewaal Nisa I think ඒවගේම I think a Japanese yant a Vedasatana out of a sick in a Kahalatino, Uba Yan Kamati, the Mukuduba Margate, Kamatinisa, Buddha Hamid Kamatinisa Kela. A Tobuto O Kela, a Asia Vialu, Kisikini Kanduran in a tuna, Bohoma Kamating, a government Sambanduna, Sambandela, Palavinima Baud the Potakeva, Potakevala, Pansala, the Etat Gila, at the Kima Klebua. Apo Norway Ratata out of a sea. Breath meditation, Anna Pana Satyagana, Ektara Potakiva, E Potaki Waham, me Karanun Mukadikila Teruna, Bahana Kalabaluham, Luku at the Kim Labuna. Eva Gima Pasukali, no Urdugana, Giat Passe, Ara make it a hilla matter, E Pavidu in Hituna. Eme Hitten He to Unhansi Hitten with theatre, Kissim Alu Katnetu, Kissim Balapa Makatnetu, Eva Gay, then in Hitu, Samharita Tita Jevitanisa in the Puluan, Samharitum and Atita Jeviteka, Lankaviho, Asiatic Rataki Pedilla in Neti, E Purudeta, then Pavidula in no in Neti. Samaharita Anikut Batahiri Jati Kamdur and Vahansay Lata, Mevagi, Atita, Ette. Devon Hitahue, Ajan Brahman Sohamdurunge, Samagavasi in Labin, Unhanse, Samaga, Saddi Hariko City, in Labin Addeki Mono the Kila. Ajan Brahman Sohamdru, Additi, a charity. Unhanse, Vatama, Vedda City Hamatamai, Ekaterine, Unhanse Vishesh Akinik, Unhanse Masa Hayak Tisse, Ektara Tani. Bahavana Puhunoke de la Hitia, Kissima Keneke, Kissima Pujeleke, Kissima Kare, Ganudenuak, Dakima Kot Karani Netiva. A Vishe Shad Dakima Unuhansi Bahana Vedisrahanin, a Puhunukale, Ivervilla, Masa Hai Ivervilla, Avila Balnoka to Nuhansi, Pavid de la Badi, Ekabixu Nuhansi, Namatamata Villa Nuhanseta. 
උන්වහන්සේ තනියම එක කුටියක වාසය කරේ ඒ කාලය තුල ඉතාම කුඩා කුටියක උන්වහන්සේට තිබුණු එකම දේ තමයි මජ්ජම නිකාය කියන ත්‍රිපිටක ග්‍රන්ථය උන්වහන්සේ වැඩසටහන ඉවර වෙලා දේශනා කරපු පළවෙනි දේශනාව වෙලාවේ උන්වහන්සේ ඇස් දිලිස් එන්න ගත්තා ඒ තරම් ගැඹුරු අද්දකීම් තමයි උන්වහන්සේ බෙදා දුන්නේ ඒ දේශනාවේ මාතෘකාව තමයි සික්ස් මන්ත්ස් ඔෆ් බ්ලිස් කියන එක මාස හයක තියෙන සුවය මාස හයක තියෙන සුවය කියන අද්දකීම ඒ වැඩසටහනට අපේ නිස්සරණ ස්වාමින් වහන්සේත් ඒ දේශනාවට සම්බන්ධ වෙලා තියෙනවා එතකොට ඔබ මාස හයක් මෙබඳු හුදෙක ලාභාවයකින් හිටියම කොපමණ ගැඹුරු අද්දකීම් ඔබට ලබන්ට පුළුවන්ද ඔබ උමතු භාවයට පත් වෙන්නේ නැහැ විශේෂයෙන්ම ඒ තුළින් ඔබට පුළුවන් සෑහෙන සුවයක් ලබන්නට අජාන් බ්‍රහ්මන්ස හාමුදුරුවෝ කොච්චර විශේෂ චරිතයක් වුණත් උන්වහන්සේ වටා ඉන්නකොට අපිට දැනෙන්නේ උන්වහන්සේ සාමාන්‍ය භික්ෂුන් වහන්සේ නමක් කියලයි උන්වහන්සේ බොහොම සරල සාමාන්‍ය විදියටයි බිම නිදා ගන්නේ කුඩා පැදුරක් වගේ එක ගල් ගුහාවක් වගේ එකක් තියෙනවා ඒ තුලයි උන්වහන්සේ සැතපෙන්නේ කොයිතරම් ලෝකෙ ප්‍රසිද්ධ භික්ෂුන් වහන්සේ නමක් වුණත් උන්වහන්සේ ඉතාම සරලයි ඒ වගේම උන්වහන්සේ ඉතාම ප්‍රීතියෙන් යුක්ත අය වාසය කරන්නේ ඒ වගේම හැම කෙනෙක්ටම ආදර්ශමත් උන්වහන්සේට කොයි වෙලෙත් හැම කෙනාටම වෙලාව තියෙනවා කුඩා කුඩා දේවල් අහන්න උනත් ගියාට උන්වහන්සේ වෙලාව දෙනවා ඉතින් උන්වහන්සේ ගැඹුරු සමාදින් වඩපු වටිනා භික්ෂුන් වහන්සේ නවක් ඉතින් උන්වහන්සේ එක තැනක හිඳ ගත්තුතින් භාවනාවට ඔබට බැහැ උන්වහන්සේ හොලවන්නට උන්වහන්සේ බැහැ කිව්වොත් බැහැම තමයි ඉතින් ඒ විදියටයි උන්වහන්සේගේ ප්‍රතිපත්තීන් උන්වහන්සේ තරම් විශේෂ චරිතයක් කියවන්න ගත්තුතින් උන්වහන්සේ සමග සිදුවීම් එළි වෙනකන් උනත් කියන්න දේවල් තියෙනවා කියලයි අවසන් කරේ Okay, I, I should tell some bad, bad stories too about Ajahn Brahm. I have to get some bad balance, <laughs> otherwise we get to one side of here. Okay, this, is a, this is a bad story about Ajahn Brahm here. So this is, when, when Ajahn Brahm was a, was a young monk, he, the, he, he was in Thailand at this monastery called Wat Nana Chat, the International Forest Monastery in Thailand. Here. And in Wat Nana Chat, they had this, uh, well maybe it was a Wat Pa Pong, I'm not sure. One of those uh, Ajahn Chah's monasteries or the International Monastery here. And in this monastery, they had a concrete floor here. Uh, in the main hall and they would do walking meditation on this concrete floor right uh, back and forth on this concrete uh, and Ajahn Brahm Samadhi is so powerful uh, that when he walks on this concrete floor this concrete becomes so beautiful right <laughs> it explodes in colors in the most magnificent shapes uh, and because of that because the concrete is so beautiful Ajahn Brahm fell in love with concrete uh, <laughs> and this is to the detriment of all everybody else because he wants concrete everywhere <laughs> in the monastery he said let's have concrete here concrete oh concrete is so beautiful put that more concrete and people said no please please no more concrete yeah Yes, <laughs> That's the bad story about Ajahn Brahm. Anyway. Ajahn Brahm. Ajahn Brahm is the one who 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 is the one මධ්‍යස්ථානය වැඩ ඉන්නකොට තාත් පොන් කියන ඒ ආරාමයේ වෙන්නත් පුළුවන් එක්තරා කොන්ක්‍රීට් වලින් සකස් කරපු භූමියක් තිබිලා තියෙනවා මේ බිමක් පොළොවක් ඉතින් ඒකේ උන්වහන්සේ සක්මන් භාවනාව කරලා තියෙනවා සක්මන් භාවනාව කරද්දී උන්වහන්සේට ගැඹුරු සමාධීන් සමාධි බලවත් සමාධියක් ලැබිලා තියෙනවා ඉතින් මේ බලවත් සමාධීන් පස්සේ ඒ කොන්ක්‍රීට් පොළොව කොච්චර ලස්සනද කියනවා නම් කොන්ක්‍රීට් පොළවත් එක්ක ආදරයක් ඇතිලා තියෙනවා අජන් බ්‍රහ්මාන් සහ හාමුදුරුවන්ට ඉතින් ඒ ආදරය හින්දම අජන් බ්‍රහ්මාන් සහ හාමුදුරුවෝ උන්වහන්සේගේ ආරාමේ හැම තැනම කොන්ක්‍රීට් වලින් හදන්න පටන් අරගත්තලු යන යන තැන කොන්ක්‍රීට් කොච්චර එපා කිව්වත් කොන්ක්‍රීට් වලින්ම හැම එකක්ම හදන්න ගත්තලු ඉතින් ඒක අජන් බ්‍රහ්මාන් සහ හාමුදුරුවෝ ගැන තියෙන නරක කතාවක් කියලයි බ්‍රහ්ම බ්‍රහ්මාලි හාමුදුරුවෝ ඉදිරිපත් කරේ සාමින් වහන්ස තමන් නොදිනවත්තම ආර්ය උපවාදයක් සිදුවීමට පුළුවන්ද වෙන බස අන්නෝවිංග්ලි කැන් සම්වන් කමින් ටු ආර්ය උපවාද රිබියුක් ටු නෝබල් වන්ස් රිලීව් රි රිලි ආර්ය උපවාදක ආර්ය උපවාද ආර්ය උපවාද බයි අන්නෝවිංග්ලි ඩුයිං දැට් 
Oh, okay, I see. If you don't know, because you don't know the person is an Arya, is that, that what you mean? Uh, presumably. Uh, so you, um, I think the problem is that sometimes when you do sim- when you do acts, like you do an act of kindness, uh, and if you do it towards an Arya, it is a lot of uh, good merit. And sometimes, unfortunately, if you do a bad act towards somebody who is an Arya, even if you don't know they're an Arya, uh, then of c- it still can be bad karma. And that's why you have to be so, care- so careful. Uh, so... Um, it obviously depends on the circumstances, all kind of circumstances will be taken into account. Uh, but uh, uh, So you have to be careful in how you conduct yourself, especially around people who are meditators, right, who have good meditation, deep samadhi and all these kind of things. Uh, that's when you have to be careful. Uh, so yes, I think unfortunately it can be bad karma, even though you may not be uh, fully aware that the person is an Arya. Uh, for example, take the time of the Buddha. Many of the non-Buddhists wouldn't really see the Buddha as the Buddha, right? But he was still the Buddha. And even if you were a Brahmin and you didn't believe in the Buddha, that doesn't really help. You can't just go and shout at the Buddha just because you don't not a Buddhist. Uh, that doesn't really get you out of the problem. Uh, uh. ಮಿತಿಂಗ್ <laughs> ಇತಮ ಪ್ರವೇಶ ಬುದ್ರಜಾನ್ ವಾಹನ ಸೇಟಾತ್ ಅಥಮ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೆಯನ್ ಅಕಮತಿ ಉನತ್ ಏ ಆಯ್ತ ದಹ ವಿಶೇಷ ದೇಹ ಕರನ್ನಟ ಏವಾಗೆ ಪಿಲ್ತುರತ್ತಮೆ ಬಲ ಉನಹಂಸೆ ಲಬಾದುನೆ ಬುದ್ರಜಾನ್ ವಾಹನ ಸೇಗೆ ಕಾಲಿ ಪಾವ ಆರ್ಯ ಉಪವಾದ್ಯನ್ ವಗೆ ದೇವಾಲ್ ಸಿದ್ಧವೇಲಾತೇನ ಆರ್ಯನ್ ವಹನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆಸ್ ಆರ್ಯನ್ ವಹನ್ ಸೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೆರೆ ತಮಂಗೆ ಸಿತ ಗೆಟನು ಪಮನಿನ್ ಆರ್ಯ ಉಪವಾದ ಸಿದ್ಧುವೇದ ಕೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಯ ಉಪವಾದ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಬೈ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಲೈಕಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ ಆರ್ಯನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆರ್ಯ ನೋಬಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಬೈ ಡಿಸ್ಲೈಕಿಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ನೋ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸೋ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ವರ್ಬಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ವರ್ಬಲ್ assault almost right on somebody uh, you actually uh, uh, talking to somebody in a very bad way uh, so i think disliking is not uh, uh, not enough uh, uh, sometimes disliking can be because of different personalities there can be so many things going in there uh, uh, but of course it's always good to try to avoid uh, disliking in general so especially if you are uh, a buddhist and you should have some idea what the good qualities are it should be very easy to see the good qualities in an aryan person uh, even though they may have a personality which is different from yours uh, there's going to be many underlying things that are very nice they will be very generous they will be very uh, forgiving they will be very uh, kind in many different ways uh, uh, and they will have very high standards of moral virtue and these things will always be present in all aryans uh, there's lots of goodness there to focus on uh, to move you away from any negative uh, tendencies you you may feel towards that person uh. um ಹೇಮ ಆರೋಪಾದ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿದ್ಧವೇನಿ ನೆಹ ಒಬ್ಬಗೆ ಹಿತ ಗೆಟನು ಪಮನಿ ವಿಶೇಷ ಹೇಮ ಒಬ್ಬ ಥದ್ದಿಂಗ್ ಬೆನ್ನವೆದುನುತ್ ಹೇಮ ಉನುತ್ತಮ ಆರೋಪಾದ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಬೆನ್ನ ಪುಲ್ವ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿವಿಧ ಚಾರಿತ ಸ್ವಭಾವಯನ್ ತೇನಟ ಪುಲ್ವ ಒಬ್ಬಟ ಪುಲ್ವ ಈ ಚಾರಿತ ಸ್ವಭಾವಯನ್ ವಲ್ಲ ಗು ಹೊಂದ ಗತಿ ಗುಣದ ದಕ್ಕಿನ್ನು ಮುಖದ ಆರ್ಯ ತತ್ವೆಟ್ ಪತ್ತುನು ಕೆನೆಕ್ ತುಲ ಪರಿತ್ಯಾಗಶೀಲಿತ್ವೆ ಸಮಾವಧಿನ ಸುಲಭವ ಕರುಣಾವ ಇವಾಗೇ ಮ ಇಹಲ ಸಿಲ್ವತ್ ಸ್ವಭಾವಯ ಏಗೆ ಕೋಯಿವೆಲೆ ದಕ್ಕಿಂಟ ತೇನುವ ಇತಿಂಗ್ ಏ ನಿಸಾ ಆರ್ಯನ್ ಆರ್ಯನ್ಗೆ ಏ ಗುಣ ದಕೀ ಮುತುಲಿಂಗ್ ಒಬ್ಬಗೆ ಋಣಾತ್ಮಕ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ವಲಿನ್ ಮುದುವಾಗನ್ ಫುಲ್ವ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೇವ್ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟು ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ರಿಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ರಿಟ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಆನ್ ಆರ್ಯನ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ರಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ Okay, Sh- should we do some English questions? Uh, yes, that's a good idea. Sure. Yeah, there's so many questions here. It's just uh, <laughs> impossible to do them all. Maybe we should do some fast ones. Should we do some fast answers? Uh, sure. That's a good idea. At least somebody gets a little bit of joy out of this. Otherwise, we're uh, <laughs> not going to get anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Venerable Ajahn Brahmada, can you please tell us uh, as to what happens uh, to the energy of the Buddhas and the Arahats when their bodies die and they are found in the... Uh, state of nibbana are these energies stored in the universe uh, i am confused as what uh, i 
I would like an answer to this question. Thank you. The, I don't know if there really is any energy left. The Buddha disappears, and you know the. Uh, I, there, there isn't really. I'm not sure if how that actually works. I don't know if there actually is any energy. The energy that you sometimes can find in places, for example, a place can be very peaceful, can be there for other reasons. Uh, they can be there perhaps because the devas are around, the devas are guarding the place, right? Because they know that something powerful happened there. Uh, whether there is any residue of peace because of the arahants were there or the Buddha was there, uh, don't know. Possible. I mean, strange things. Uh, strange things happen. Sometimes, you know, you don't understand how these things work. Uh, but uh, I am not aware of how that would work. Uh, so, not sure. Il increasing hanu prashno ite kheti kheti pilituru lava dunu to bude siyum ho saturak denevi ehma pilituru den nayani. Budurajan vahanse ge ho rahatun ge rahatan vahanse lagi pirni vivemi in pasu ea ge shakti in vishwetul randi siti na pulu andar ke lahanwa unno hanse dhani na tilu ea ganem namut samaharavita e pirinuwa na ta passe e sthane balavat sthane akba ote patte na pulu ang deviyan ge akarshe nisa deviyan vising e sthane arakshakar na vinna pulu ang Munuadi Tirivela Ti Nikela Ehima Avodiak Deneta Mama Vishesha in Daninhe Namut Samahara Amutu Deval Sidwina Puluang Apita Hitagan Napahasu Deval Nut Epilibandava Vishesha Yamak Mavisin Daninhe Okay, Venabhajan Brahmali Kama has a component that ripens in this very life this is extract from the uh, the booklet, Samadha and Vipassana are inseparable. And I have heard this statement uh, that for those who meditate and are on the path, if they act either with good or bad intentions, the results are felt right away compared to others who do not meditate or, nor are on the path. Please elaborate on this and explain as to why this is so. Thank you. Uh, yes, and... Um, I think this is a very very useful thing to actually reflect on how karma ripens straight away, how you can feel the result of your actions. If you are sensitive and you are careful and you have enough mindfulness and clear comprehension, you can feel it straight away when you have a bad intention. If you, f if you have a bad thought, even a bad thought, uh, and you watch your mind, what happens when you have a bad thought, it depletes the energy from the mind. Uh, you don't feel, you lose brightness, you lose happiness, straight away you can feel it. Uh, on the other hand, if you do an act of goodness, you do something kind, you can feel, you can actually feel the mind brightens up, the energy goes into the mind. Uh, and I will, I would recommend you to try that. If you can do that, uh, then you understand how karma works very by very immediate experience and you can extrapolate to understand that if you keep on doing this right a lot uh, you are basically brightening 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 the mind or darkening 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 the mind uh, depending on which way you go uh, and then you can sort of see where this is going in the future and obviously will also have an effect on rebirth etc etc um a karme matater in Vietnam, karme karna ayate evelima pratipala lebenode, eva gamer, karme marge nodena eta vena carita, marge vadena eta tavata carita, pratipala lebenode kira. Oh, karme evelima pratipala gine de napuluang, obavisheshem pravesham vinone inisai. Samhar laut bahawa nak keradhi, khususnya mubagi prabhaswar bahawa itu inu nang itu nama ubat pratipala labila. Ewa game honda dewal thawat vidya tak inu nang khususnya ubat honda shakti inu nang inu nang bahawa nak tulin ubat kerela mau balan. Ewa ing ubat honda pratipala laba inu. Manusia perisud bahawa itu prabhaswar bahawa itu patunawa nawa nawa tat nawa tat. E prabhaswar bahawa ema ubat atin dimin digatam e pawatwa agni anna puluang. Okay, good. This is a this is more of a personal question. Somebody who is asking whether they can come to the Buddhist conference in Perth in August, which is going to be held in August. And yes, you certainly can come to that conference. Um, uh, you're, you're sitting there somewhere, I can't see you, but anyway, you're back there somewhere. You certainly can come to the conference. And... Uh, all the details of that conference are available online uh, and you can also write me an email if you want, I can maybe help you out uh, and you can maybe come and stay in the monastery for a few days or whatever. Uh, so those are certainly possibilities. So uh, if you want to do that, uh, uh, 
uh, maybe let me know venerable, via Venerable Metta Vihari or something, uh, and uh, we can, I'm sure we can help you out to get that organized. Uh. Pada pelbagai perhatian bahawa udah samulu itu sambandin na puluan dek kelakini kahalati na, oh obat itu sambandin na puluan, ini na dengan dengan metta vihari hamduru haraha, ho Brahma li hamduru nanti email lekak liela, ini na web adavi wisata sahaja na, eva game bodhija nara mehi dawaski pia kubet nawaiten awasnya na, ya sape ada na te puluan kela Brahma li hamru pilih terdina. Okay. This is very nice little note. This is just a note of appreciation. So that is always nice. <laughs> Ajahn Brahm, he used to, Ajahn Brahm used to have this little uh, place in his kuti where he had all the notes of appreciation. Uh, and he said if he had a difficult day or things weren't going well, he would open this little jar with all the notes and would read out a few nice <laughs> notes that had been written to him before. Uh, so this is a kind of this is this is how Ajahn Brahm operates. Uh, anyway, so this one says. <laughs> Venerable Sir, you and Ajahn Ram's sermons make the difference between life and death. Thank you. You are an inspiration with the blessings of a triple gem. So that's very kind. So I'll put that one away for a rainy day huh? and I'll bring it out when I feel a bit depressed or something. Jeevitayatmaraniyatgenatiyanadeshanava Jeevitayatmaraniyatgenatiyanadeshanava Itama projenavat Obohanseta ash Yahapatakma veva Eva ge maans keti karla pili turu dunne Me vage imai me Ajan Brahman soha amduruot Ekatu karla tena me vage Prashan sa kiri me katuak Podi Jogu ka vage dala Yam kisi dushkara dawa sakwa vage dhenu na tupase Unnohan se eke tiyan Prashan sa tika keva la tika Satu tuta patte no Tim me liyopo ekat Brahma le hamduru tiya ganna kuwa tika Dawa sahari te an netang Eva ge ekakat keva la Hita hada ganna keva Okay Okay this is Now we are this is um a more serious question. Venerable Bhante, could you please advise again on how one could overcome the feelings of ill will and jealousy? Is just reflecting on these feelings as a feeling of ill will arose in me enough to overcome it? Uh, I enjoyed the trip very much and gained a lot from it for the uh, conduct of my spiritual life. May the triple gem bless you. So uh, again, remember, it, if you have that little booklet that I, I that was given out to everyone, uh, then you can actually look it up there. It is the uh, Agatha Pati Vinaya Sutta uh, uh, on the how to overcome ill will and resentment. Uh, is a very useful one. Uh, and remember that you very often ill will is directed towards people. Uh, so what you do is you learn to see the good in those people uh, and reflect on the good aspect instead. Uh, and that is often if you are quick to do that when ill will arises. Uh, you can see the goodness in people and it, it kind of uh, holds the ill will down. The ill will actually tends to disappear completely. Or if it is ill will against people who are very difficult to see anything good in, uh, then the idea of compassion, right? Uh, here is somebody who has many, many bad qualities. Uh, where are they taking themselves? They're taking themselves to a very bad destination. And you can feel compassion towards them. Uh, instead of focusing on your own hurt, uh, you're focusing on uh, the problem that that person is creating for themselves. Uh, that is very quickly how to deal with uh, uh, ill will, and uh, uh, especially uh, um, and jealousy, that is... Uh, uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> um, I, try the try the ill will one first of all, and deal with that, <laughs> and maybe that will deal with some of the jealousy as well. See what happens, uh, because often these uh, defilements are often very closely linked with each other here. Prashneta mai me upadesi lalati no itam one coming me tarahav saha irsha vake ne deking. Miden ni kohuma dekela, upades den ni kela. Mei pohunu tu lima, ya mei pohunu pramanu ad dekela hana. Ini ni unuhan se pilih turu den ni, abah mau tu mau dunu poteh tiye nalu. Aga hatu pati vinay sutra, ekakhe wala. Obat puluang mei pilih bandu mau pohunu katikar gan. Guda kelawa tapi tetaraha wa ati den ni minisun sambanden. Eh, agi honda gati dekat pas saya betul puluang, ini tarah aving miden. Abis, eva agi ma betul tarah aving itu, nuah ganu dino kara na paha su minisu sambanding. Ini na betul, eh agi honda dewal honda gati guna dekimin, ibasi ma dia dino kara gan nikah kara nanti ini. 
ඉතින් ඊර්ෂ්‍යාව සම්බන්ධයෙන් අහලා තියෙනවා ඊර්ෂ්‍යාවටත් පිළිතුරක් විදිහට දෙන්න තියෙන්නේ තරහව සම්බන්ධයෙන් ඔබ කටයුතු කරලා බලන්න ඊට පස්සේ එයින් සමහරට ඊර්ෂ්‍යාවත් ඔබේ නැති වෙලා යන්න පුළුවන් ඔකේ we an hour has pretty much gone by already when of metta vihari you are the supreme commander of this retreat uh. <laughs> so do so do you have more questions uh? five more five more <laughs> okay okay we'll we'll try that then so we have gotten the response from the uh, the boss has spoken so now we have to <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, we'll do here's one first one dear venerable sir <laughs> why do the fifth sixth seventh and eighth uh, jhanas uh, in other words the immaterial attainments uh, are ignored and take a sharp turn to uh, tevija uh, are they are, are they misleading jhanas please kindly explain made a triple jump with you well i, I think the point is that these things are not absolutely required for the path once you have the fourth jhana you have all the power you really need uh, to make the breakthrough to arahantship uh, so that is actually sufficient however uh, you can also if you are uh, a certain type of person who who uh, is very skilled in samatha practice and samadhi practice uh, you can take it further in that direction but you don't actually have to do that and it is sufficient to have the four jhanas uh, that is really where the path uh, with the path sort of uh, normally stops um is there any advantage in going further up in the samatas there probably is because the higher up you go the more you are abandoning so if for some reason you find it difficult to make the final breakthrough at this point it can perhaps for certain characters be helpful to go through even higher stages of samadhi and abandon things in that way and understand impermanence non self and dukkha through that particular process until eventually you can perhaps even go to uh, to sanya vidaya taniroda where everything ceases and then uh, become an arahant based on that so probably that's a little bit to do with the character of people but the four jhanas are uh, are sufficient uh ඒ අහනවා පස්සෙනි 6 වෙනි 7 වෙනි 8 වෙනි සමාපත්තීන් සඳහන් කරන්නේ නැතුව 4 වෙනි ධ්‍යානයෙන් පස්සේ ත්‍රිවිද්‍යාවට එක වරම් පත් වෙන්න කියලා. ඒ නමුත් පිළිතුර තමයි සතර වෙනි ධ්‍යානයේම ප්‍රමාණවත් සම්පූර්ණ අවබෝධය ලබන්නට ඔබට ඒ වගේම සමතය සමාධිය තුලින් පුළුවන් අවශ්‍ය නම් ඒ සමාපත්තීන් පවා දියුණු කරගෙන එබඳු අවසාන අවබෝධයකට පත් වෙන්න. ඒ වගේම තව දුරටත් තව ප්‍රශ්නයක් අහලා තිනේ තව දුරටත් භාවනාව සමාධිය වැඩීමේ ප්‍රතිඵලයක් තියෙනවද කියලා ඔව් තව දුරටත් ඔය යන තරමට ඔබේ අතහැරීම දියුණු වෙනවා ඒ අයුරින් දුක අනත්ව ස්වභාවය අවබෝධ කරගෙන සංඥාවේදයේ නිරෝධය අත්විඳින්නත් ඔබට පුළුවන් ඉතින් එය චරිත සමග කරන්න දෙයක් නැහැ සතරණි ධ්‍යානයෙන් පසුව ඒ සතරණි ධ්‍යානය අත්දැකීමෙන් එහාට ඔබට ඕනෑම ආකාරයකින් මෙය වඩන්න පුළුවන් Okay. Next one, dear Bhante, is it possible to access you through email or any other communication ways when we have need a clarification in our practice? Thank you very much with Meta. Uh, I I try not to give out my email address to too many people because I end up getting too many emails unfortunately. Mm. But we have a um, Uh, we have a forum page on the bswa website that was the dhammaloka.org just talking about before uh, and on that forum page you can actually post questions uh, and the that's probably better because then many many people uh, have the um, benefit of reading the replies to questions that you make uh, so you can go there and if i don't reply some other monk will will probably reply and you can get some hopefully some good answers to your uh, questions in that way uh, if it is desperate and you really have to email me then you can and maybe ask venerable uh, meta vihari for my email address he has it uh, and he can then sort out so when the, the number becomes too high you can sort of start saying sorry no not no, no more or, or something like that uh, but i'm sure it won't be a big problem but uh, some something in that uh, in that way yeah mm halati no me brahmali hamdurun mahanse samaga sakachcha karanna email address ekak ganna puluwanda kiyala උන්වහන්සේ ඊමේල් ඇඩ්‍රස් එක සියලු දෙනාටම දුන්නොතින් ඊමේල් ගොඩක් ඇවිල්ලා උන්වහන්සේට ඒවට පිළිතුරු දෙන්න අපහසු වෙයි ඒ නිසා ඒක පොදුවේ දෙන්නේ නැහැ කියලා උන්වහන්සේ පිළිතුරු දෙනවා 
නමුත් BSW එක වෙබඩ් වෙට ගියාම ඔබට පුළුවන් ප්‍රශ්න ඔබගේ තියෙන ප්‍රශ්න ටයිප් කරලා අහන්න. ඒ එවිට ඔබට පිළිතුරු ලැබෙනවා. ඒකට කියන්නේ ෆෝරම් එක කියලා. ඒ ෆෝරම් එකට ගියාම BSW A වෙබ්සයිට් එකෙන් ඔබට පුළුවන් ඔබේ ප්‍රශ්න වලට පිළිතුරු ලබා ගන්න. ඒ වගේම ඔබට තවත් තව දුරට දැනගන්න අවශ්‍ය නම් මෙත්ත විහාරි හාමුදුරු හරහා ලියන්නට කියලා පිළිතුරු දෙනවා. මෙත්ත විහාරි හාමුදුරු ළඟ ඊමේල් එක තියෙනවා කියලා. මෙත්ත විහාරි හාමුදුරුන්ටත් ඕනට වැඩිය ඊමේල් ආවතින් වැඩි කියලා උන්වහන්සේට ඕන හැටියට ඒවා බැහැර කරන්න කියලා උපදේශයක් දෙනවා. Uh, dear Venerable Sir, could you kindly explain how some people at the time of the Buddha became stream winners as soon as they heard, heard the Dhamma? How did they complete the Eightfold Path and Jhana all at once? Thank you. Okay, so these particular suttas that talk about uh, monk or people becoming stream winners, dream winners very quickly and uh, these suttas are usually very short and they are just a story and the story says that this person goes to the buddha he sees the buddha and becomes overpowered by the power of the buddha and then the buddha teaches him a graduated teaching starting with dana and ending with uh, disclosing the four noble truths and then the person becomes a stream enter here so Uh, first of all these are not kind of the usual teachings of the buddha where the buddha kind of gives a long discourse uh, and people gradually become arahants uh, even uh, some of the greatest arahants of the time of the buddha took 20 years to you know to reach uh, reach that kind of that, that sort of point uh, even uh, so so generally speaking it takes a long time for people to read the pinnac reach the pinnacle of the path uh, some of these stories because they are stories because they're not really teachings of the buddha as such uh, very often they will be contracted there will be just something that people remembered uh, and there will be like a contraction of the path of progress that this person probably took a long time time to become a stream enter here and it's like you know when you when you remember a story what all you remember is that this person become a became a stream enter and he was a person of such and such name and you don't remember all the things in between and that doesn't really uh, show in that uh, uh, very short story that very short sutta so very often i think what we have to assume is that actually in reality there was a long period of progress happening there for this person even though it is not mentioned in those suttas um prashne tamai kenik sutrala sandahan denawa samahara aya wahama dharmaya asimema sowan bhaveta patuna kiyala ithama keti kaalekin e aya me marge it it ඒ සුළු මොහොතකින් වැඩි කොහොමද කියලා අහනවා එහෙම දේවල් කෙටි සූත්‍රවල සඳහන් වෙලා තියෙනවා කියලා පිළිතුරු දෙනවා ඒ වගේ බුදුරජාණන් වහන්සේගේ බලය ඉදිරියේ උන්වහන්සේගේ ඒ ශ්‍රේෂ්ඨත්වය ඉදිරියේ උන්වහන්සේගේ ශක්තිය ඉදිරියෙහි ධර්මය අහලා සමහර අය එබඳු අවබෝධයකට පත් වුණා කියලා සඳහන් වෙන්නේ එම සූත්‍ර පරීක්ෂා බැලුවාම ඒවා සාමාන්‍යයෙන් බුදුරජාණන් වහන්සේ දේශනා කරපු සාමාන්‍ය පටිපාටියට යන සූත්‍ර නෙමෙයි ඒ අවසානයේදී සොවන් වුණා කියලා සඳහන් වෙනවා අඩුයි නමුත් බුදුරජාණන් වහන්සේගේ කාලේ හිටපු ශ්‍රේෂ්ඨතම රහතන් වහන්සේලා පවා වසර 20ක් වගේ කාලයක් අරන් තියෙනවා මෙහි සම්පූර්ණ අවබෝධය ලබන්නට. ඉතින් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අදහස් වෙන්නේ ඒ ඉහෙලම තැනට යන්නට කාලය යනවා කියන එකයි. නමුත් මේ වගේ කෙටි සූත්‍ර තියෙනකොට ඒවා මිනිසුන්ට මතක හිටිනවා. මේ පුද්ගලයාට මෙහෙම අවබෝධයක් ආවා. නමුත් ඒ අතරවාරේ තිබුණු ධර්මය මතක නැහැ. අපිට මතක හිටින්නෙත් නැහැ. ඉතින් එම නිසා මේ මේ සූත්‍ර පිළිබඳව අපි අවබෝධ කරගන්නේ කොයි විදියටද කියලා අපිට තේරුම් ගන්නට අපහසුයි. I think I did a fair okay. translation. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so next one here. Uh, dear Bante, I recognize the handwriting but I'm not going to say who this is from. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when you were discussing the Satipatthana Sutta, you uh, mentioned that the refrain about arising and vanishing factors is not in the parallels. Uh, is it found in other contexts with uh, the suttas? Uh, I couldn't help thinking that the contemplation is quite useful for abandoning the hindrances by seeing their impermanence. Uh, do you think that there is scope for practice, a practice version of the satipatthana sutta incorporating what meditators find useful if there's time can you please comment um 
Is it found in other contexts in the Sutta? It is found, I think, in one place in the uh, Sangyuta Nikaya, which perhaps is the origin of this particular thing. There's one Sutta elsewhere in the Satipatthana Sangyuta where this is found. And that's quite interesting that it's only found in one other place in the Satipatthana Sangyuta, so it is a fairly rare thing, basically, in the Suttas. Uh, it is true that it is very useful for abandoning the hindrances, but remember that the hindrances, they already have this whole idea of looking at impermanence. It's already inbuilt into the contemplation of the hindrances. It's already part of that. It talks about knowing when the hindrance is there, when it is not there, knowing what causes it to arise, right? What causes it to be abandoned, uh, and how it how the future non arising is is uh, achieved so it's already sort of part of the hindrances and already part of the uh, uh, bojangas as well this idea of causality is already there so it's almost a bit strange because in with the hindrances the bojangas it would be doubled up in a sense he would have once as part of the contemplation itself and then he would have another time as part of this refrain which comes afterwards and so so there uh, it, it i would say uh, with those ones, it almost seems natural that it shouldn't be there, actually, rather rather than being there, because otherwise it would be doubled up. Uh, is there scope for a practical version incorporating what meditators find uh, useful? Uh, um, Yes, probably, probably to some extent that is probably correct. You know, if something works for you and it brings you in the right direction uh, and it isn't kind of wildly off topic, uh, you know, like believing in God or something like that, uh, <laughs> then uh, uh, I would probably yes, but be careful uh, because usually the Buddha's instructions are very powerful and useful uh, the, way they, the way they are. Uh, so just read them carefully and I think you, most of the stuff you need, you will find there. Uh. <coughs> මේ ඇතිවීම නැතිවීම කියන එකට අදාළව සතිපට්ඨාන සූත්‍රයේ හි තියෙන ඒ කොටස ඒකට සමාන්තරව සයගත්තු පැරණි මූලාශ්‍රවල නැහැ කියලා සාමින් වහන්සේ සඳහන් කළා එය එහෙම හිතනවද කියලා අහලා තියෙනවා ඒ වගේම ප්‍රායෝගික මූලාශ්‍රයක් ද මෙතනින් අදහස් වෙන්නේ එය නැත්නම් මේ ත්‍රිපිටක මේ සතිපට්ඨාන සූත්‍රයේ පොහොණුවට යොදාගත්තු ප්‍රායෝගික මූලාශ්‍රයක් වෙන්න පුළුවන්ද කියලා අහනවා ඒ වගේම ඔව් පිළිතුර විදියට දුන්නේ ඇතිවීම නැතිවීම අවබෝධ කරගන්න එක අපේ පොහොණුවට උපකාරී වෙන්න පුළුවන් නමුත් නීවරණ නැති කිරීම සම්බන්ධයෙන් නීවරණ යට නීවරණ වලින් බැහැර වීම සම්බන්ධයෙන් හොයලා බැලුවාම ඔය ඇතිවීම නැතිවීම කියන කොටසත් ඒ තුළම අන්තර්ගත වෙලා තියෙනවා ඒ වගේම මේ කොටස සඳහන් වෙලා තියෙනවා සංයුක්ත නිකාය එක තැනක සමහර එතනින් වෙන්න ඇති මේ කොටස ඇතුළත් වුණේ මේ සතිපට්ඨාන සූත්‍රයට ඉතින් අපි නීවරණ ඇතිවීම නැතිවීම අධ්‍යයනය කරලා බැලුවට පස්සේ ඒ තුළම තියෙනවා මේ කොටස එතනම අන්තර්ගත වෙලා නීවරණ ඇති නැති වෙලා යනවා ඉතින් ආයේ හට ගන්නවා ඒ තුළම තියෙනවා පටිච්ච සමුප්පාදයත් ඒක නැවත වතාවක් කෙරෙනවා දෙවෙනි වතාවටත් බොජ්ජංග ධර්ම වඩමින් භාවනා කරද්දී ඒ දෙවතාවක් කෙරෙන නිසා මේක ඒ තුළම අන්තර්ගතයි කියලා කියන්න පුළුවන් නම් වෙනම අවශ්‍ය නැහැ කියලා ස්වාභාවිකම අපිට හිතන්න හේතුවක් ඒක ඒ කොටස එතන නොතිබිය යුතුයි කියලා ඒ බඳු පිළිතුරක් තමයි ලබා දුන්නේ ප්‍රායෝගික ඒ ප්‍රායෝගිකව යම්කිසි කොට සූත්‍රයක් තියෙන්නත් පුළුවන් මට ඒක හරියටම තේරුණේ නැහැ මම හිතන්නේ දෙවියන්ට අදාළවත් පිළිතුරක් දුන්නා ඒක මට අහගන්න බැරි වුණා සමාවෙන්න ඔකේ uh i have no i lost count of how many questions <laughs> but uh, this is the last one okay so he's getting impatient now he wants to yeah. <laughs> but so, okay good so reverend sir these days some people seem to have fun with mara they go on labeling various things as mara with the brand mara for example oh she is a mara of a wife or he is a mara of a husband <laughs> Wow, it's a Mara's wedding here. It's a Mara's accident. It's a Mara's joke in Mara's film, etc., etc. <laughs> okay, so question number one. What do, you, what do you literally mean by Mara? What is Mara? Okay, so Mara 
in the suttas, Mara is usually like a tempter figure, right? The tempter which comes around and says, Ah, oh, you don't really want to go to enlightenment. Here are these nice sensual pleasures. Why don't you enjoy these pleasures instead? Uh, so Mara is like a tempter, uh, mostly in the, uh, the Buddhist text, and mostly, for, for the most part, it is a psychological thing. Uh, it is something in your mind, right? It's not something outside, but actually something inside of you which tempts you. Basically, it's delusion right? Uh, karma, chanda, etc. Arising, delusion arising, and that is basically the, m the main meaning of Mara. It seems also in the suttas that sometimes there is like a, more like a deity called Mara, which kind of rules over a certain realm, the uh, uh, the Paranimitta Vasavati realm, uh, uh, or, or parts of that realm, uh, and that that deity is kind of a little bit uh, fond of controlling things, right? Controlling the world and controlling people or whatever, and may perhaps also influences people in a bad way. Uh. That is a little bit more uncertain, per you know, that might be some truth to that, but the main idea of Mara, as far as I'm concerned, uh, and the most useful idea of Mara, is simply that it is the defilement and the temptation inside of us that tends to take us away from the path uh, and onto all the worldly things rather than the, rather than the uh, teachings of the Buddha. Um, has Mara got any duties assigned? <laughs> Uh, I that would be good to kind of distract Mara by assigning Mara some duties. Right? <laughs> That's a very very wise comment. Uh, here, Mara, work over here, and you don't have to worry <laughs> us. Uh, um, but essentially, as I said, Mara's main job is to be the ruler of a certain realm or a certain sub realm called the Paranimitta Vasavati. Paranimitta Vasavati literally means the one who wields power over the creations of others. Uh, Para, others, nimitta, created, vasavati, wheels power. Uh, so, in other words, it's a, it's a kind of slightly power hungry and controlling, perhaps, person, uh, or person, a deity, or whatever it is. Uh, that is the main, uh, what Mara is supposed to do according to suttas and perhaps more so the commentaries. Uh, I wish, Venerable Sir, you wouldn't say all. Uh, all these are Mara's ideas. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no, you are, no, that's uh, it's a good point actually. I, it's a good point to to not talk about these things uh, and to actually uh, decide what the suit does mean about these things. Thanking you so much from one of the Samaneras. Uh, very good. Huh? Samaneran bhansi nama prashne kahalati na me adhikali Mara ki na vachne Mara idhir bahite na kela. I can name Maria Givahe, Maria Givihilu, Mara Vihiluak, Mara over Dita Bahite no Kila Mukat Detrami, Mara Kilakiani, Vachinan Sarim, Pahadilikaran Kilakino, Etherma Prashne Ketikara, Mara Kila Sutra La Santahan Vini, Pilitro Dirduno, Sutra Tanu, me Kisiam Nivana Valakun, Bada Kiakwin Kinikwagi. Itamai Sandahan Vinni, make a Boho Durte, Manome Tatiak, Eva Game Mohe Tatiak, Kila Pitiki and Napula, Kama Chande Adi, Maria Kilaki and Napula, Eva Game Sutra Sandahan Nomi, Mare Divia Putre Gene, Palan Acre and Kinigere, Samaharavita, E. Terungan Tapahasui, Ettakti in Napuluang, Namut Pradahanate Tieni, Klesha Mariat, Klesha Mara, Koivilit, Apitula Tieno, Apilocate Adeladani, make Klesha Visin, Eat Avadahani Mukurama, Pita, Mara, Maria Ging, Galavin, Natapuluang, Evagim Tavata Halatino, Maria Rajakari Power Latino, the Kela, Pilitru Dieta Duna, Maria Rajakari Power Latino, Kutcher Hundai. To Mare to Kianpula, me Rajakari Karaganina, Pitacher of Dani Kumgran Nipakela Namut me Piritur Dieta Tavaduna, Maria Kinekina, me Paranimita Vasavati Vasavati, he Pala Kiakela. Etocote Anun Visin Sakasapu Devala Pala Kavi Dieta, Ea Katu to Karanikela, Timiva Sutril Sandahan Nino, Kela Unhans and the Hankare, Eva. Hima the Kila Pita Hita Ganta Pahas Vikila Tunasi Matakara, Ethin Prashne Hapu Samari and Hansi Mataka Latino, Maker Maria Gadhasa Kilaki and Nepai Kila, Ethin Unhansi Pilitru Dino, Hima Hita Nepa, Maker Hunda Prashne Kila.
Okay, so that's it for this evening. So have a nice last night on this retreat and we will see you again tomorrow.